In this section, I would like to cover what really happens when you press the record button on the EOS. There is a concept that you need to remember when you press record on an EOS, and that is that an absence of a value is not the same as a zero. Okay? So let's take a look at an example of what I mean by this. I am sitting in Q2 in my show right now, and you can see that in my channel groups 1 through 10, I have values for channels 1 through 7, but I have not yet addressed channels 8, 9, and 10. So for all intents and purposes, this queue list does not even know that channels 8, 9, and 10 exist. So if I press record right now, the console is not going to automatically put in a zero for channels 8, 9, and 10. They will be ignored. And there's a vivid demonstration of this. If I grab those channels, set them to manual values, now, because 8, 9, and 10 have no move instructions at all, when I press go, this queue list will simply ignore those channels. Now, even though they were off when I recorded some of these other queues, the console does not know to turn them back off because they never received a move instruction. There isn't actually a zero in there. There's just nothing. So let's take a look at what this looks like inside of the console. And the best way to look at this is to go to blind and look at it in spreadsheet. So I'm going to go to blind and make sure I hit format to get to spreadsheet. And here you can see the example pretty clearly. Let's look at channels 7, 8, and 9, for instance. You can see that 7 in the first two queues in my show have no data at all. And that means that channel 7 was not owned in this queue list until Q2 when it received a move instruction to go to 15%. It then received a subsequent move instruction in Q3 to go to 0. And from that point on, you can see that there is data for channel 7 in the remaining queues as indicated by the dash in each of the cells. However, in all of these queues, I have not addressed channels 8, 9, or 10, so you can see there is absolutely no data in those channels in my queue list. Now, this could be for a number of reasons. Maybe I've got these channels doing something in a separate queue list, but uh, for this particular queue list, channels 8, 9, and 10 are not addressed. Now, there may be a time where you do want to have data in a particular channel in the queue list from the very beginning. And all you have to do there is insert a move instruction in the earliest queue or the queue that you want to start having data recorded. And in this case, I can go to my queue 0.5 in spreadsheet. And I can take channel 9 and just go ahead and put it at a 0. And you can see that because there is a move instruction in queue 0.5 to go to 0, from that point forward, this queue list owns channel 9 and there is data contained for this channel in this queue list. So this is a concept to remember that a absence of data does not necessarily mean zero. And you know this may come into play if you think you're recording a queue with lights off, but you haven't put in a zero. It's very possible that those lights might be on in another queue list. And when you execute, when you push go to go into that queue, since you're not giving them another move instruction to go to zero, you may not get the result you're expecting. So pay particular attention to this on whether or not there is or is not data being stored in a queue. So this concept is something that we want you to pay attention to because there is a difference, again, between an absence of data, which means that this queue list will not address that channel at all until you do put some data into it, and a zero value. So make sure you're paying attention to that when you are using record on your EOS.